Welcome to Grumbacher's Video Art Informational Series. I'm Professor Michael Coblin. This video will demonstrate how to protect the painting with a spray varnish. Varnishing is generally used to protect artwork from contaminants and also is done to bring the painting to a uniform matte or gloss level. A painting should be varnished only after it is completely dry. For oil paintings, this will depend on how thick the paint is. Allow at least six months from the time the painting was dry to the touch. For heavy impasto paintings, you want to wait 12 months. For acrylics, five or six days will do. Aerosol varnishes are highly flammable and must be used in areas that have good ventilation and no open flames. The ambient temperature must be above 65 degrees and the humidity under 65 percent. Here we'll demonstrate using a specially designed spray booth, but you can perform this procedure outdoors as long as the weather is cooperative. We're using Grombacher Gloss Picture Varnish for oils and acrylics. This particular varnish is an acrylic resin base, so it goes on clear and won't yellow. For this demonstration, we're varnishing an acrylic painting. Before applying the varnish, clear the nozzle of the can. A spray nozzle that has dried material inside can cause problems during the application. This is especially true for matte finished products. To clear the nozzle, shake the can vigorously. You'll hear the steel ball inside the can, which helps mix the varnish. Continue shaking the can for at least one minute. Next, shoot a one or two second burst into the air. Then turn the can upside down and shoot short bursts until you don't see any spray coming out of the nozzle. Never spray an aerosol product onto artwork until you've tested on something you can see. An easy way to do this is to spray an illustration in a magazine and allow it to dry. Then you can see exactly what you'll get and act accordingly. This one was tested earlier and you can see we have a clear glossy finish which is exactly what I was looking for. Place the artwork in the upright position to obtain an even coating. Apply the spray with the can held about 9 to 12 inches from the surface. Start the spray off the surface and move across until you go off the other side, then stop. Start back on the other side and begin spraying again in the same direction. Starting and stopping the spray well off the surface will keep you from getting runs or drips. The secret for attaining a high gloss or depth of color when varnishing is to apply multiple thin coats. Never attempt varnishing with a single thick coat. You could ruin the artwork. Spray only in one direction, keeping the distance between the can and the surface the same throughout the pass. Don't swing your arm back and forth because your arm will naturally form an arc to the surface of the painting, resulting in an uneven coating. You'll have a coating that is lighter at each end than it is in the center. Ensure an even coating by making each pass the same rate of speed as the last while overlapping the edges. The edges are sometimes hard to see because they are clear. If you place a light behind you, this will let you see the wet material being applied and effectively assist in overlapping the fuzzy edges. Varnishes must be thoroughly dry before applying another coat. For aerosols, only a minute or two should suffice. Never touch the surface to test its dryness. You might leave a fingerprint. So instead, touch the sides of the painting. For multiple coats, turn the painting on its side so the next coat goes on at a right angle to the previous coat. For a large format painting, start the spray at the top of the painting and continue down to its middle. Then turn the painting upside down and continue spraying from the top down until you reach the varnished part. Remember to walk the can across a large painting so you can maintain your distance from the surface and better control your rate of speed. Bear in mind, it's not advisable to mix varnishes or fixatives in an artwork. If you start with Damar, you must finish with Damar. Likewise, acrylic with acrylic. The two materials are incompatible with each other. Thanks for joining us today, and look for other informational downloads right here at grombacherart.com.